Hi, this is Donk Cowboy Biker Adventures coming to you today from Moody Beach RV Campground, which is a thousand trails campground. I want to give you a virtual tour of it using my Insta360 X3 camera. So come along on the ride. On your device, you should be able to rotate your view to look whatever you want to look at. This obviously is the entrance sign. Let's get started. It has been hot. I've been here, let's see, I got here two days ago. It's been hot and right at 90 and today's no exception. It's a very cloudy day, so I hope uh, this is showing up with good enough detail, even though I'm shooting it in 5.6K. Uh, this is uh, only about three quarters of a mile from the beach as the crow flies. I plan on putting my drone up here after I finish this video. And here is the entrance. And you can see, if you look over here to your right, there's park models, and I guess they call cabins, and I don't know, some of them may be privately owned, but they all look basically the same. There's one line of RV sites, and those are 50 amp sites. Everything in here, they say, is a full hookup. So, it's either 30 or 50. So here we go. I'm not going to take you here to the left down that one row. Hopefully you can see enough. If, did I say left? I meant right. Hopefully you can see enough without me doing that. And uh, you got to stay right here. And it looks like restrooms and I'm sure showers little playground the office straight ahead I'll show that in a moment but let's do this uh, this is dead end to the left but this is a little loop right here on the show since it wouldn't come out on the camera just passing by but you can see basically it along with this uh, loop over here to the to the uh, left. Uh, <clears throat> and you can see over here, this is open. These are all the new sections and they're not wooded. Uh, the rest of it is thickly wooded, as you can see, if you look down these, and they park them here on the older sections a little differently. You can see they actually, the older sections, they actually go parallel to the road. I kind of like that. I can fit in virtually any of them. Most, all these though are 30 amp. I think there's one of them that's 50 amp that somebody changed herself. But uh, this is the main road in. And over here you can see the facilities. The office is here and swimming pool lounge i'm sure the uh i'm sure you got a little country store they don't have much in there uh and i'm sure you know laundry's here too uh there's activity hall and uh there's a little loop here to the right let's get that out of the way you can see a little playground there And this just loops around in here. It is five mile an hour speed limit, but I have not seen anybody follow that, unfortunately. And I'm, it's hard for me to do that. My bike don't like to idle that low for that long. Uh, there's the dog run over here on the right, it looks like.
collection on. They got that's the second one. Uh, and some of these obviously are seasonal, but most of them are not. Uh, I've, where I'm at in the back, uh, it's not seasonal. I mean, it's really not seasonal. Only a couple, a few. So I picked it because of the uh, Starlink. Uh, it's so wooded. I thought I could get a better signal there, and, and I'm getting a decent signal. <clears throat> Maintenance building to the right, and you can see more of these, how they park them. Basketball, obviously. Here is uh, the dumpsters. I think that's the only ones, and they got a recycled dumpster uh, in, in the park. I'm going straight back to my section. Uh, now you can see these are permanent. Uh, tent camping, which I think is pretty neat because it is totally covered in trees, uh, which would help. It's really unusual for it to be that hot this time of year up here, I've been told since we're right off the coast, and we're on the coast, basically. Uh, and there you can see the front of my rig. Uh, but uh, it, uh, <clears throat> I think it's going to change in about a week. <coughs> and I had not been back here, so let's see what's back in here. It's very wooded, like I said. This looks like this is the uh, storage over here on the left. Now, some of these here are long-term uh, seasonal, I think they call it. They actually, you know, buy that pass to be able to stay, I don't know. It's not open year-round, so I assume they can stay the whole time it's open. <clears throat> But you can see the uh, park models with your cabins. And that's the back of my rig there. Here, I'll just go buy mine. Now I forgot to start my timer. Or look at my watch. I don't like to go over 18 minutes on these. But there's mine. That's how I'm doing my star link right there. Believe it or not, it ain't not aiming north. It's a, aim, actually aiming east. Maybe a tad north, but not much. So you can see a lot of park models. Uh, I'm sure they these are the ones they ran out. They always put mini splits in them pretty much around the country. It's too bad we all don't do that. This looks like restrooms and showers, and uh, which is important. Oh, there's more dumpsters. I was wrong. Looks like there's more tent camping over on the right. Maybe not. Yep. Wouldn't want my tent, tent right up against the road. Though. Let's go this way. Now, I'm not going to go down every one of these. It would be... Uh, they're all look similar. So these are all 30 amps, but one, and almost took it. Let's go down this one. And the streets are numbered, you know, like this is 12th Street. But, uh, and these are seasonal, yeah, as you can see, down 12th Street. And let's go down here. Like I said, they're parked parallel to the road, which I kind of like. I've not seen that before. Okay. Let's see here. One of these is the one I almost took, except for I didn't think I could get a signal from my Starlink. 
My T-Mobile's working okay, though. I think this is it. No, this is not it. Oh, well. Probably the last one. As you can see, these are part models. I think the one I wanted is where this Class A, and I told a woman about it because he showed it to me. It's been rewired for 50 amp right there on the right. Uh, it is a beautiful sight, if you ask me. I, I actually would like it better, but, uh, you know, it's just not good for startling. You can see how big these sights are. I can fit in them easily. I don't know what that was to the right there. Let's go down this one. Obviously, some of these people have been here all season. Some of them are just here for maximum 21 days. I'm only here for a week. I leave next Wednesday. I have to do this cloudy like it is because in a couple hours it's going to start raining and it's not supposed to stop until I leave or to after I leave next Wednesday. This is a Friday, by the way. But uh, you can kind of see what you've got and uh, let's go down this one and do, finish up with this loop right here there was a class A here when I came in Wednesday I think they left because it was right in here someplace they had their star link out and it looked like to me it was up against the rig and pointing east and I don't know how he was getting any much of a signal. Oh, more dumpsters. There you go. But it's a quiet place, at least where I'm at. Uh, people seem to be friendly enough. Big collection pot, and you can see what you're dealing with. By the way, these are 50. The front was 50. These right here are a mixture. Now these right here are 50 to the left. So I don't. I'm not seeing shuffleboard or. Uh, you know, uh, horseshoes, maybe I just missed it. Uh, not seeing it on the map either. But, uh, I think they're open for about another month or so. I should have looked that up too. I uh, forgot to do that. I look, I mean, I saw it, but it's been a week so but I will be back here after I go up to Arcadia National Park and film it I'll be here but only for like two nights so but uh, Arcadia National Park is coming of course it's supposed to rain the whole time I'm there too so we'll see what it looks like I did get the reservations for the, the uh, Cadillac, I think, Cadillac ride or Vista or whatever it is you have to have reservations for. I got it for four different days, it's $6 a day total. So it's worth it, but because of the rain, I don't know when I'll, which day would work out best. So, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see adventure videos at least once a week, be sure to subscribe. And until next time, have a good one.